Okay, I'm going to use Prezi to show you how to embed into your uh, blogger. And I'm not sure if I, we talked about this, so I'm going to go over it again. And this is, you know, often there's websites that are not run by Google. It's harder to get them, get them into Google products. So one of the things you have to often do is embed. So here's a Prezi, and you will see that, uh, you know, it's pretty much done. So I want to embed it in my blog. So there are several ways to do it. You can download and you know that present online. That's just as you can present it right there. Uh, but if you want to embed it in your blog, you have to click on share. And there's three different ways. Here, this is just a link. So that does not look good in a blog. It, you don't want to do it that way. Uh, the way you want to do it is embed. So you click on this tab, and here's your embed code. Now they kind of give you just a basic code and we're going to be doing some coding maybe starting next week you'll learn some very basic stuff that's really useful but most of the time you don't have to change anything. So you copy the code to clipboard, it's copied, you go to your Google Apps account and as usual you click on Blogger and I've already logged into mine. Okay, So Prezi test will it work in Google Plus? So what I want you to remember, and I don't even remember if we talked about this, there's two buttons here when you're blogging. This is usually what's called WYSIWYG, which is like what you see is what you get, and blah, 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 and that's what's going to show up on your blog, okay? The thing is, this is sort of the less known part of it that's really powerful. You could code a whole website and just put it in HTML and it'll show up in Blogger, okay? So click Control V. And there's more than one way to do it. You could update it. And what I usually do is, I'll go back just a second. I'll just click on the compose. And then you're going to see what people would see. And you know, normally if you, you can also decide to write something, right? You could go in here and write it. Um, well, now I'm in preview mode, so I can't do it. But anyways, uh, if you... Uh, update and then go you can write stuff like here is my Prezi and this is what you're gonna see on blogger so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna update and let's go and have a look at what it's gonna look like oops click the wrong button here go back apologies so view okay one of the things I had also asked you to do was to set up at one point or another uh, so it sends automatically to your, to your Google Plus. If it didn't do it, what you can always do is just click your plus one button that's built into here. And in our ca case, I'm going to click uh, uh, the, the circle that we had created was TG, TGJ. And you notice it comes up automatically, you guys. And I would write something like, here is my Prezi. And we're going to do something with that. Uh, you could also send email to everybody there so that they know, but you don't need to do that. So share. Now it'll be in my Google Plus. Just so you know, it doesn't embed it in Google Plus. It'll just show the link. So people can go and click on the link and uh, check it out. I want to show you something else. It's how to set up so that when people comment here or in your Google Plus, it shows up here. So this is a new feature, it's only about two weeks old and it's really cool. So I'm gonna, I, I don't think I've set this one up yet. So I'm gonna go under, um, in this blog, I wanna go to settings. So you click on the wrench tool. Uh, let me just think here, I haven't, oh settings are over here in this one, I apologize. So you go to settings and let me just think here did it the other day on one of my other blogs. Uh, <coughs> publishing. Oh, you know what? They, they actually added this because it used to be a little bit. Use Google Plus comments on this blog. And you can, so for all of you, it's unchecked. So whenever people comment using Google Plus, it goes to your blogger account, which is really cool. So that's basically what you need to know. So I'm going to upload this video, and if uh, you need to get these instructions, you can uh, check them out after. All right.